it's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. And this week on the Street of Dreams, the market worked its way higher. The table was set to the beginning of the week when the Bob Farrell sentiment indicator was published that suggested investors are more negative about stocks right now than they were this past December, just before the market rallied a big 20%, and the year's not even over yet. We saw similar readings for this indicator in 2012 and 2016, again, right before the market rocketed to all-time record highs. Now, obviously, this is a contrarian indicator, but it makes the point to be greedy when others are fearful. Now, the main course for this week's rally was corporate earnings, and I'm proud to announce that the earnings season is off to a strong start. Many companies posted stronger than expected bottom line numbers, including Netflix, J&J, banking giants such as J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, and Morgan Stanley. Industrials like Honeywell crushed forecast, and Railroad, CSX, jumped in price after beating analyst expectations. Now, the official start of earnings season is off to a great start, and it's easing concerns that the China-U.S. trade battle will derail the economy. Now, other geopolitical news was also promising, with Turkey agreeing to a ceasefire, and the EU and the U.K. evidently have agreed to a Brexit deal. Nonetheless, many investors are as negative now as they were on Christmas Eve of 2018. They've pulled $217 billion out of the stock market and poured $379 billion into those dreaded, awful bond funds, which, keep in mind, don't have a maturity date. And there's nearly $3.5 trillion sitting in money market funds with little, or when you consider inflation, a negative return. And when you consider the barrage of commentary around recession and impeachment, you know, it's pretty easy to see why an uninformed investor would rush to cash. But fortunately, you are informed. And the only way to succeed as an investor is to be one, not a trader, not a speculator. U.S. economic indicators hardly suggest impending doom. There are more reasons to be positive than negative. In fact, the Citigroup Economic Surprise Index just jumped the most in three months compared to any three-month period since the 1990s. So I think famous investor Warren Buffett has it right once again. It's time to be greedy when so many others are so, so fearful. Now, if you're sitting here wondering, do I have a portfolio that's appropriate to my goals? Do I have too much in cash? Am I getting a negative return on my bond portfolio? Well, I sit there and wonder when you could know. Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne, and I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management. 